Welcome back guys, this is Automotive Anonymous, and I have something exciting to show you today. And no, it's not you, Miata. I actually had the Watt Wizard come out and he used some of his master electrician magic to install that 240 volt you see. This is the NEMA 1450 outlet. They're commonly used for EV level two chargers, but you could also use it for an electric dryer, stove, or RV. There's a lot of good reasons to have one of these and I'm gonna include some of those as well as a time lapse of its installation. The NEMA 1450 plug uses a 50 amp breaker, so you can have up to 50 amps drawn for certain applications that are not continuous, meaning they're used for under three hours. Maybe an electric welder, something like that, but for a level two EV charger, it can only draw up to 80% of its amp capacity. That means up to 40 amps, which is pretty impressive. That could still charge an EV at almost 40 miles per hour. If it tried to do more, it would create too much heat and it would trip the breaker. Speaking of tripping the breaker, it's always a good idea to turn the breaker off so that the plug isn't hot when you're plugging in something and out. Because it has long prongs, you wanna reduce any possible risk of getting shocked. And then for reference, a standard outlet, a 120 volt, only charges at three to four miles per hour, so 10 times slower than one of these bad boys. This is a really good option for a home setup. Your other option would be always charging at a supercharger station, which is way more expensive, way more costly, a little bit harder on your battery because it charges it over twice as fast. That's a pretty good option. It's time to watch the Watt Wizard perform his magic on this corner of my garage. And I'm gonna voice over some of the benefits and the reasons why you wanna consider having a master electrician do the work. A few of the benefits to having one of these installed, even if you currently don't have an EV, is it's ready for when you do. Also, depending on how difficult the job is, it might only cost about $400 to have a setup similar to this, or it could cost thousands of dollars depending on how far away the plug needs to be from the breaker panel. So keep that in mind, but when you go to sell your house, I think you're gonna more than make up for it. And I could imagine the description of the ad will have a specific line about the garage has an EV charger ready to go. But what if you have friends or family that have an EV and you wanna feel generous and you wanna juice them up and give them some power every once in a while when they come and visit you? That might be a way to keep some friends around, keep some family around if that's what you're looking for. Also, if you were to ever Airbnb your house and yours has an EV charger, that might be a reason why someone would choose your house to rent out rather than the neighbors. And for the couple dollars of electricity to do that, that might be worth it. But the last reason that I can think of off the top of my head is what if you need to have the dryer or the stove in your garage? Maybe you or someone else is living in your garage. You'll be ready to go. Of course, this is not legal advice. I don't recommend that you do that necessarily. There's a lot of reasons why you wanna have a master electrician who's licensed, insured, and well-rated doing this job. Even though there's a bunch of how to do it yourself videos online, even though it might not look that difficult where the wiring doesn't have to go that far through the wall, it's not worth the risk. Imagine if you had a fire because of this and your house burnt down and you don't have the actual professional permit and inspection needed for this to be done correctly. Do you think insurance is gonna wanna pay out? Was losing your house potentially worth a couple hundred dollars? I don't think it is for most people. Another reason is all of our houses were built in different years and codes have changed. In fact, they change every several years for electrical codes. So when they have the panel off, they can look at the wiring, they can see if there's any concerns and anything else that they need to address while they're in the area. Something that the average eye might miss. My purpose for having this installed today is really quite simple. It's a combination of everything I've already mentioned. So although I don't plan to live in the garage or host any squatters, every once in a while my brother does come through town so I could charge up his Tesla if needed or any of the EVs that I do reviews and videos on. I do have a level two charger coming soon, so if you wanna check back, you can see which one I went with and what that unboxing and install process looks like. But also, the combination of those two things now give me the option to potentially buy an EV in the future and already be able to adequately charge it. In addition to it just raises the house value. It's worth having. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Anyways, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my review and see one of the little projects that I've been working on. I know this is a lot different than my typical car review, but it's fun to throw other things into the mix that are car related. So if you're in the area, if you have friends, family, loved ones, basically anyone that you care about in the Magic Valley that needs electrical work, you need to check out the Watt Wizard. He's 5.0 star rated. He does phenomenal work. He doesn't have all the overhead of other people. So his work is way more affordable than the big companies. I'm just grateful that he came all the way out to where I live to install this plug for me for the day. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. That act of kindness goes a long way. It helps it to get shared. It helps my channel to grow. If you want to watch more, you can subscribe. I post a couple times a week. Otherwise, until next time, take care.